Hey everybody, I'm Joe Lample, the Joe Behind Joe Gardener and the gardening television host of Growing a Greener World. If you're like most people, including me, chances are you have a few rusty tools laying around your property. From small hand tools to larger ones like rakes and shovels. But rust is pretty much a fact of life. And the good news is there are several ways to get rid of it. So in this video, let's talk about a few of the ways to get rid of the rust and then reduce the chances of it ever coming back. Rust naturally occurs when certain substances come in contact with oxygen and water for a period of time. For gardeners and weekend warriors, we see it on our garden tools all too often. Fortunately, there are several ways to remove the rust and get those tools back in service and good as new. Let's talk about some of the most common ways. For any tools you're working with, when necessary, start by using a degreaser to clean your tool and wipe away any dirt or debris and moisture. There are two main ways to get rust off your tools mechanical or manual, and direct application. Let's start with the mechanical or manual way first, and you can do that a number of ways by sanding it, scouring it, or grinding it off. For minor rust removal, you have a few options. Start by using steel wool or stiff wire brush or both. That may be all you need, but if not, keep going. Try using coarse grit sandpaper and then finish up with a finer grade. These options are where the elbow grease comes into play. On tools where the rust is heavier, try using a hand drill with a steel brush attachment. That's a simple and inexpensive option. Simply secure the tool and apply the scouring brush against the rust areas until it's all been removed. Then just wipe your tool clean and you're ready to go. But if those options don't work, you have some other choices. Now if you want a way to apply a product that can remove the rust without the physical application, then the direct application is what you're looking for. There are a number of products on the market, some are more abrasive than others, so be sure to read the information on the package before you decide on what you want to use. But in all cases, it's a good idea to have eye protection and gloves at this point. Vinegar and salt working together is a good option for tools with large areas of rust. First, clean and dry the tool, then place the tool in a container large enough to contain the entire metal part of the tool where the rust is. Next, pour in enough vinegar to cover the entire metal part and sprinkle enough salt over the surface. One quarter cup salt to one liter or four and a half cups of vinegar is a good ratio. Now the salt and vinegar mixture needs time to dissolve the rust and that can take anywhere from one to three days. But check back periodically because once you see the rust start to soften, well, you can jump in there with the sandpaper or the steel wool or the wire brush or even the attachment to the drill and finish off the process. And then all you have to do is wipe it clean and dry it and you're ready to go. For smaller areas of rust or rust stains, baking soda can be an effective option. As usual, clean and dry the tool and degrease it if necessary. Mix baking soda and water in a bowl to make a paste. Apply it to the rusted areas and let it sit for a couple of hours. Scrub the paste away with a brush, rinse with clean water and dry. Oxalic acid is a popular option for removing rust quickly and it's found in a number of cleaning projects usually as a dry granular form, but you can sometimes find it as a liquid, although it's a lot harder to find on the shelf that way. So today we're removing the rust using the dry granular product. This is a readily available product and its primary ingredient is oxalic acid. With this, you can mix up a paste, scrub the area where you have the rust, and within a minute, rinse it off and repeat if necessary. Then rinse it off a final time with clean water and dry thoroughly. Now the best way to keep your tools free of rust in the future is to keep them clean and dry, of course, and out of a humid environment. And if you need some help with that, a dehumidifier works wonders. It's also a good idea to coat the metal parts of your tools with a thin coat of an all-purpose oil. This will provide a protective barrier over the metal parts of your tools and keep them looking good for years to come. So there you have it. Next time you encounter a little or a lot of rust on your tools, now you have some options to remove it and keep it off in the future.